Imagine that you have decided to run your apps inside containers that everyone is talking about. Also, you heard another name along with containers and that is Docker. So what is Docker and how is it related to containers? So let's start this discussion with a thought in the mind. Hello and welcome to Docker. My name is Srinath Challa. I'm a certified Kubernetes administrator. So in the next few minutes, I'll try my best to get you up to speed on Docker if you are new to this. But before you watch this video, it is required to have a basic knowledge of containers. In case if you need a help with that, then please use the link in the description below to know more about containers. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the things you'll be learning in this video. There are six primary things that we'll be learning as part of this. First, we'll discuss about what is Docker. Then we'll discuss about what Docker does. Then we'll discuss about where does Docker container engine sits in the infrastructure stack. Then we'll look at the Docker hub. After that, we'll discuss about the Docker project. And finally, we will end this video with some questions that leads to our next topics. And with that, let's get started with our first thing in this video, and that is, what is Docker? So, what is Docker? If I say it is a company based out of SFO, then some of you might get surprised. Because Docker is known as container, and container is known as Docker to the majority part of outside world. So, Docker is a company which is built on top of container technology. And this is a company which made containers more popular. Well, containers were there before Docker, but it came into the mainstream and became popular only after Docker container came into the public. And next, the picture you are seeing here is Solomon Hikes. He is a founder, brain, and current CTO of Docker Inc. As of this recording, is looking for a replacement for his position. Before Docker, he founded another company called DotCloud. The plan of DotCloud company was to build developer platform on top of Amazon Web Services. But things didn't work as planned. So while they were developing developer platform on Amazon Web Services, they were using some kind of in-house container technology which they developed. On one fine day, he changed his mind and his focus from dot .cloud to container technology. And that container technology today is called as Docker. In last around five to six years, Docker Inc. has built some of the important products around container technology. And some of them are Docker Swarm, Docker Hub, and Docker Data Center. Now let's see how Docker got its name. So Docker is extracted from two words. They are doc and worker. So here, doc is a dockyard and the person who is working at the dockyard is a worker. So they combined those two words and took out the work part from this and that's how they got the Docker. So coming to the current market valuation of the company, it is around $1.3 billion at the time of recording. And can you guess? what language Docker components are written in? It is Golang. So Golang, in short, it is called as Go. It is a modern programming language developed by Google. So that's about the Docker as a company. Now let's see what does this company actually do. So if you look at the tagline of Docker, it is build, ship, and run distributed apps across anywhere. Let's take a closer look at what this build, ship, and run does. First, let's start talking about build phase. So during build phase, typically developer will write the code and test the application on his or her laptop. Once the application is ready, now developer will package all the application code, configuration, and all other required components of that app. And this package is called as Docker image. So Docker image is the output of build phase. Once you have the Docker image ready, then you can share this with your team or you can deploy 
anywhere. Most importantly, you can expect to run your application without any much surprises wherever you run. So once you're done with build phase, next comes the ship. Docker provides a platform to share images and that is called as Docker Hub. It is something like Google Drive where you upload your files, pictures and videos and you can share with your family and friends. Similarly, Docker Hub has the similar concept. You can upload Docker images to Docker Hub, then you can share with your colleagues and other people around the globe based on your preferences. So besides Docker Hub, there is another platform called Docker Store. The main difference between Docker Hub and Docker Store is Docker Store contains the images which are verified by Docker. You might find more of a commercial images in Docker Store. You can use those images with confidence. And whereas Docker Hub, it is more of a community content. Anyone can upload the Docker images to Docker Hub and anyone can download from it. So it is advised to be extra careful when you are uploading and downloading images from Docker Hub. So that's about the ship part. Now moving on to the run part. So finally, you can run your application images in your environment by downloading it from Docker Hub or Docker Store and run it using docker run command on your personal laptop or physical server, VM, cloud, Windows, Linux, almost anywhere. So once you start running docker images, that's when it is called as docker container. The running instance of docker image is called as docker container. You can scale the container instances as per the demand. If you see increase in traffic, you can scale up the containers and scale down when there is no traffic. So that's about the build, ship and run phases at a high level. In summary, Docker is an app delivery technology. It gives you the ability to build app using Docker image and ship an app using Docker Hub. And then finally, you'll be able to run the app as a Docker container, potentially running multiple instances on multiple hosts so that there is no single point of failure. So that's what the Docker is for. Now moving on to the next slide, where we'll see where does a Docker sits in the infrastructure stack. So coming to the infrastructure stack, you have a physical server or a virtual machine host at the bottom. On top of it, we'll have an operating system and this can be a Windows or Linux. So far, this is familiar to most of us, I guess. Next component is the Docker engine. This is where all the magic happens. It is like ESX hypervisor of VMware. So once you have the Docker engine installed and started, then you can start creating multiple containers on top of it. You can run app inside these containers and all these containers share one single operating system underneath that. That's a high level infrastructure stack to give you an idea about where Docker is placed inside the stack. Docker Inc has many products besides the Docker engine. So one more product we are going to discuss is Docker Hub in next slide. So we discussed about Docker Hub at a very high level in previous slide. Let's go a bit more in depth about Docker Hub in this slide. First, before we go in depth, let me tell you that there is some room for confusion between the words that we are about to discuss because it happened to me initially. So the confusion is about three words. First, they are Docker Hub, then repositories and images. They all are related to each other. So let me explain you by taking a simple and familiar analogy. Imagine that you're storing files inside a folder on a Google Drive. Here, in this case, files are Docker images, folders are repositories, and Google Drive is the Docker Hub. So first we'll create an account on Docker Hub, then we'll create a repositories, and finally we'll store the Docker images inside these repositories. I hope it is clear now. So Docker Hub is a platform where we can create repositories and upload and download Docker images from it. Here, the repositories can be either public or private repositories. So the difference is images in the public repositories can be viewed and downloaded by anyone 
and whereas the images in private repositories is just private to you and the people who you share with. Now, can you guess approximately how many repositories are there inside Docker Hub right now? As of this recording, there are more than 300,000 repositories out there on Docker Hub. An average downloads of images per day from Docker Hub is over 5 million. That is 5 million downloads per day. And it is almost 2 billion Docker image downloads per year from Docker Hub. So that's how big and popular Docker Hub is. Next, we'll see the Docker project, the technology behind the Docker containers in the next slide. So what is Docker project? It is an open source project of Docker Rink. Docker project belongs to the community. Anyone can look at the code and download the Docker code and make changes to it. It is free and public, not like other software products. So if you look at the history of software products and its releases, I'm talking around the time of Windows 97 and XP. So there used to be the time where all the code was all proprietary and top secret and hidden. Even release cycles of these kind of old products are often kept under secret. So that's the history. And fast forward to current days, if you look at the major products like Docker and Kubernetes are all open source products, which are majorly driven by community. Specifically, talking about Docker, everything is done out in the open for everyone to see and everyone to contribute to. As of this recording, it is only around four to five years, but it nearly has a 50,000 commits and around 3,000 contributors who are contributing to Docker project around the globe on GitHub. So there must be a question in your mind now. How is the Docker Inc, which is about $1.3 billion company related to this Docker project? Well, Docker project and Docker Inc are not at all the same. Docker Inc is a company, whereas a Docker project is a community driven open source project. However, Docker Inc is a major driving force behind the Docker project. Docker Inc makes money by selling commercial products around container technology. So that's about the open source Docker project at a high level. So far we have discussed all nice things about container and Docker. But there are some serious questions around using it. So some of them are, do you know at an average Google runs around 2 billion containers per week? So how do you create and manage all these containers at such large scale? How do all these containers connect and communicate? How do you scale these containers as per the traffic demands and so on? All these questions are addressed in the next upcoming topic, which is container orchestration engine. So before we end this, let's review some of the important points we discussed in this video. So coming to the summary, first, we discussed about what Docker is. As we discussed, Docker is a company which made container technology very popular. Docker has developed multiple products around container technologies and containers, which starts from Docker Container Engine, then Docker Hub, Docker Swarm, Docker Compose, Docker Data Center, and more. When people say Docker, in most cases, they mean Docker Container Engine. Then we discussed about what Docker does. It primarily helps developers in building container image. Then ship that Docker image to Docker Hub to share with team members or the open source community. So when you're ready to deploy a containerized app in your environment, then you can download that Docker image from Docker Hub and run it. So running instance of Docker image is called as Docker container. So in simple terms, what Docker does is it builds, ship, and run containerized apps in your environment. Next, we discussed about where does Docker Container Engine sits in your infrastructure stack. So we installed Docker Container Engine on top of your operating system. It could be a Linux or Windows. Once that is in place, we can create and manage multiple containerized apps on top of Docker Container Engine. 
Then we discussed about Docker Hub, the place where you upload and download your Docker images. It is just like a dockyard for ships. After that, we discussed about Docker project. It is open source project of Docker Inc. Docker project belongs to the community. Anyone can look at the code and download the code and make changes to it. Finally, we ended this video with some of the questions. And now these questions lead to our next topic, which is container orchestration engine. In that video, we will discuss about what is container orchestration engine and why we need it and its features. Link to that video is provided in the description below. Finally, thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video.